Just how excited, I see that smile on your face, but how excited are you to be in this uh, position? And also just, you know, with the, with the style of play that now is, is being employed, your, your thoughts on that? Uh, I couldn't be happier, you know, to, to be able to recover quicker than expected. And, you know, I put a lot of work into it and I have to be very thankful for the, the staff and special Gabi that have been working very hard with me to everyone around this club that always supported me and obviously a new coach new new staff coming in for this season and you know with the new mentality and new style of play i think suits a lot uh, how i i like to play and i'm excited you know to get going obviously uh, i'm working very hard every day to to get up to to where they want me to be fitness wise but uh, you know I'm very close and I hopefully soon I'm able to to get on the field and start to play after long months that I've been through but I'm very excited for this season. We'll go to Jason Anderson. Jason. Uh, hi Felipe, it's good to get to speak with you uh, and uh, ahead of a game uh, so that's a, a big positive I, I'm sure. Um, I'm curious, uh, back in the preseason, the, the what we heard on our end was that you'd be back maybe in May, and I was thinking even like May May 30th would be uh, a really fast recovery. Um, and so seeing you on the, the lineup last weekend was a, a, a big surprise in a good way. Uh, and I'm just curious, um, with that speedy recovery, um, how far along do you think you are? How close are you to maybe what you feel like would be your ideal uh, in terms of being able to play and participate uh, in the lineup. Uh, good afternoon. I think uh, we are after 12, so good afternoon. Thanks for the question. Um, I'm very close. I think I believe I'm very close because I work a lot on fitness. Uh, I've been training with the team for a couple of weeks. You know, obviously I think uh, what is missing for me is just the rhythm of games, you know, uh, after after that, I think fitness-wise, you know, I just need the rhythm of games and I'm going to be there. Obviously, you know, like you need to get the timing of, uh, of the game is different than training. All those little details, but that only comes with games. So uh, hopefully soon I can start to play some games, some minutes. But for now, you know, I'm working hard and waiting for, for the, the coach to, to, to give me a chance. And I'm sure that when he, he sees me ready he gonna give him a chance and i'm very excited to 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 help the team if i'm not i'm always here for for my teammates and i'm just excited to to be able to to come back quicker than expect and but that to be fair was always my goal you know because i know my how hard i work and i knew that it would be faster than everyone expect we'll go to andy with the washington times hey felipe uh, welcome back uh, just yeah. kind of curious on when, when you get to New England and you get to the locker room and you see your jersey hanging up, what are, what are the motions for you kind of getting to that point after such a long time? The day before, um, every single day of my rehab, I took videos and photos and to remember those moments, you know. So the day before that game, I watched all my videos since day one of my rehab. And that is my motivation, and that was my motivation every single day, you know, to remember those type of moments and understand that that's, you know, like, should be my motivation every day because, and then when I walk into the locker room, it's almost I never left, you know, I had that feeling that I never left because every single day I was playing my head uh, the moment when it would happen, the moment when I first get to, to, to play my first minute. So when I get, I don't get too excited because I already played that in my mind. And I'm, I'm, I feel ready, I feel ready, I feel confident. And hopefully soon enough I can be on the field. We'll go right back to you, Andy. I think your hand went back up. Yeah, yeah I just want to follow up really quick on, on the videos. Like how, how long were each video and, and what, what did you take videos of? Just like your recovery or what, what, were, what, were, the, what were those videos? I have more than 300 pictures and videos on my phone. Yeah, was sometimes video at in the special first couple of weeks at 3 a.m. doing gaming ready, game, doing ice uh, 4 a.m. because I was in pain and I couldn't sleep. And I took those videos to always remember those moments, you know, because 
uh, those are tough moments but you know it's nothing compared to to what happened already so when I am in difficult moments I can go back to those moments and remember that what I'm going through now and at that moment is not as as close as what I happened before so it's just to uh, a mind game that I use to always remember where I was and where I am right now. We'll go back to Dave Johnson. Dave. Felipe, what's uh, having to watch the team for a couple of weeks? Uh, what what's impressed you most about what you've seen from your team? I love it. I'm very excited every time I I watch my team play right now because I think now it's not only one player making a difference it's the system, it's our way of playing that's gonna win games, it's the, our mentality and the new style of play, what are we building in this club now that's what win games, I don't. I think that when you're gonna change players and change play, players coming in and players coming out you don't gonna change the way you play and that's important when you create that culture and that system that the system wins not the players individual because i think this team needs to be all about the team and no matter what the team should be always above every everybody and anything we'll go to jeff strauss felipe thanks for uh, taking the time a uh, quick okay. question for you what do you think it's going to take for this club to find success on the road in san jose after the long travel I think first of all we shouldn't be thinking about the travel because it's another game, it's another another day and doesn't matter where we go, I think the same mentality should be always as we play at home. The energy, the way we prepare games, nothing change. We're going to play and that's the mentality we're going to approach every single game this year. Doesn't matter if we play home or if we play away, we always going to train and play and think the same way that we think at home because that's the way you, you win games i think is a lot of this is mental that when you have travels obviously you know guys feel more but the team is preparing as the best way possible you know uh, during the flight before the flight after the flight we doing so many things little things that adding up in the end to to make a huge difference and a huge impact on the game and i'm sure that this game we're gonna play with much more even energy that we play at home because you know we come from from a loss and we need this win and we believe that we're going to san jose to get three points and whoever is not doesn't have that feeling can stay here and but only gonna travel players that believe that we're gonna go there and get three points we'll take a couple more questions we'll go to john rojas Thanks, Zach. Felipe, parabéns. Gracias. Felipe, Felipe um, 22 partidos, 7 meses afuera. Nunca antes habías estado afuera más de 2 partidos por una lesión. Lo más duro, la cabeza o la parte física durante todo este tiempo para recuperarse. Bueno, quiero aprovechar uh, para decir que en 10 años en mi MLS, uh, I missed 7 training seven training not games seven training in 10 years and so you guys understand how hard it was for me to miss all those games but every single day of my rehab i was looking forward for my first game and i always was positive and looking at uh, what would happen after the surgery and i want to get better and i will be better and i'm proving that i can get better yesterday um i got to 101% of my high speed so that means I'm faster than before and just I'm not saying to 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 put myself up there but it's to understand that sometimes tough moments can make you better and makes you better if you only believe that can can happen and I always believed in me and I keep believe and I always think that I gonna be better even um, after after this month and then the next month and I always gonna continue to be better because the work is what makes a difference. And again, I'm not even eight months, but I believe on the work I'm doing and I believe I always gonna be better. One more question, Felipe, we'll go to Henrique. Boa tarde, Felipe, vamos falar em português agora aqui, Henrique Simão do 
do território MLS aqui do Brasil. Beleza. Cara, queria saber como é que tá sendo para você seu retorno, expectativa para jogar é, pelo DC agora e pensando também já fazer uma projeção para o jogo do Pixar. Como é que você acredita que a equipe vai se sair? Valeu. Posso responder em inglês? Você que sabe. Não, 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 porque assim todo mundo entende. Ah, por favor. Então, beleza. So, uh, muito obrigado primeiro pela pela pergunta. Uh, a expectativa, the expectation is to win together and win games. You know, that's nothing less than three points. I think uh, our first priority get there and get three points. I'm very, I feel very ready mentally and physically to to if I I'm called to to come in one minute, 30 seconds or 30 minutes, I'm gonna be ready because I'm always here to help my team. But again, even if I don't play one minute, I'm always going to be there to support my team. But our expectation, the team expectation, is to go there and get three points. Muito obrigado. Felipe, thank you for your time, man. Appreciate thank it you, as man. always.